So with another bunch of crazy news updates, CoinMark is here again to feed its enthusiasts with some new updates. On one hand, it seems countries are tightening their legal grip as the crypto influencers faced legal restrictions in Australia. And on the other, it seems like uh, they're providing with a sigh of relief because Oklahoma is uh, actually considering incentives for crypto miners in the state. Alongside this, Tesla CEO has acquired a portion in Twitter. And on the other side of the world, in Istanbul, prosecutor seeks 40,000 year jail time for fraud and money laundering by a crypto firm. Well, I'm sure you all must be intrigued. Trust me, as am I. So without any further ado, let's quickly start with today's feed. Starting up first, let's talk about how the legal grip is being tightened on influencers in Australia. So, the Securities and Investment Commission of Australia is taking a stand against financial influences. The stand is being taken against those whom ESIC believes are misleading the general public about cryptocurrency. Let's find out what's happening here. This leads to the Australian Securities and Investment Commission's new warning on suitable financial influencer behavior could have a big impact on the local crypto market. The Australian Securities and Investment Commission's latest information sheet explains the risk that the influencers and organizations who hire them may encounter. They may mistakenly or actively fall into it when pitching financial terms. Failure to follow ASIC's warning could result in corporate fines of millions of dollars and individual penalties of up to five years in prison. Despite the fact that Bitcoin influencers are not directly mentioned, the guidelines apply to them because cryptocurrency investing services are considered financial goods. Financial influencers or influencers who are concerned whether their company is breaking the law should carefully consider their message, according to ASIC. Under Australia's Corporation Act, individual influencers may be cautious about how they advertise financial products to ensure that no regulations are breached. Firms must maintain a watchful eye on their paid influencers. The Commission offers various case studies that provide context for deciding whether or not a person or corporation is advertising financial services. The Australian government is working on how to control Bitcoin news as it grows in popularity. As a result, many senators have backed the proposal of turning Australia into a crypto hub. The second piece of news comes from Oklahoma, where the government intends to make crypto mining more accessible. The lawmakers have approved a legislation that, if passed, will allow a tax credit to crypto and Bitcoin miners who set up shop in the state. Let's find out what's happening here. The Commercial Digital Asset Mining Act of 2022, introduced by State Senator John Montgomery and State Representative Ryan Martinez, intends to cut costs associated with commercial mining gear and electricity. The original intent of the legislature that the Oklahoma Tax Code recognize the continuing development of new and advanced manufacturing and industrial processing technologies has led to new industrial processes. The bill stated, Blockchain technology used in commercial mining of digital assets is an industrial process that should be taxed in a manner similar to historical forms of manufacturing or industrial processing in order to encourage the location and expansion of such operations in the state rather than in competing states. According to a report by regional news channel site KOKH, incentives of up to $5 million are being considered. Citing comments from Senator Montgomery, According to public records, the bill passed the Oklahoma Senate 29-16 to 16 on March 22nd. On March 23rd, the bill was introduced in the lower house of the legislature. And on March 30th, it was submitted to the Legislature Technology Committee. Oklahoma is one of an increasing number of states in the United States that are interested in the bojoning Bitcoin mining industry. Elonis and Georgia are considering similar legislation when Kentucky's Key's government approved tax breaks last year. Meanwhile, the New York legislators have been pushing for environmental limits on the state's mining industry. So our next update is about two of the most major names of the crypto world. Yes, Elon Musk and Twitter. So the news of uh, Twitter incorporating Ethereum NFT in its platform were making rounds yesterday. Until Elon Musk announced that he has acquired 9.2% stake in Twitter. 
Well, after this news, the stock of Twitter went up to $49.01 from $39.31. Let's find out what's happening here. Tesla founder received the stake on March 14th, according to an SEC filing, shortly after claiming that the social media platform is failing to adhere to free speech norms. He also discussed its algorithms and whether or not it should be open source. For the latter, he also included a poll. He raised his concerns about Twitter's algorithm de facto bias and its impact on public conversation. Musk also mentioned Twitter's investment in engineering sources to integrate NFTs. He believes that the platform should first focus on resolving other challenges. So to conclude our uh, bulletin for today, we have some really bizarre news coming straight from Istanbul. A Turkish prosecutor has proposed around 40,564 years of jail time for 21 members of a firm who are being prosecuted. This comes roughly a year after Istanbul-based cryptocurrency exchange Thordex was shut down and its CEO vanished. Let's find out what's happening here. The indictment charges the defendant with conspiring to construct a criminal business as well as a fraud and money laundering, according to a Bloomberg News. The indictment charges the defendants with conspiring to construct a criminal business as well as fraud and money laundering, according to Bloomberg News. In the indictment, total loss at the exchange were estimated to be roughly around $24 million, while chain analysis, analysis released in February put the figures around at $2.6 billion. According to the paper, Uzer stated in an April statement from an unidentified place that he would repay investors and return to Turkey. In the first investigation, the Turkish authorities have apprehended around 62 people. Uzer is thought to have fled to Albania, according to the Turkish authorities. So we'll round off our analysis for today and see you all tomorrow with even more exciting content. In the meantime, if you have any recommendations or opinions, do let us know in the comment section below. Also, do subscribe to our Telegram channel for free crypto alerts. For instructions, reviews and tutorials, do visit our blog, which is linked right below. Also, subscribe to the channel to receive daily crypto market updates. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day ahead.